So this project will help you to control your lights and speed of fan with your voice commands without using any Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or even a mobile application. It's completely offline. Let me show you a quick demo. Ni hao. Turn on all the lights. Fan speed 1. Fan speed 4. So it's a perfect project for all those people who want to control their home appliances with their voice commands but were either worried about the data getting leaked via internet or were not having any kind of Wi-Fi connection or Alexa at their home or workspace. Well, this is the project for you. So now let's get started with the hardware part of the project. So for making this project, you'll need these all components and here the major component is the VC02 module as it does the majority of tasks like voice recognition, audio feedback and also controlling all the relays connected to the GPIO pin so we don't need any external microcontroller for this. Later after getting all the components, we connected them all according to this schematic diagram. Now, as we wanted to make this project more compact, we designed a custom PCB for it and later we gave its order to PCB GoGo. Now, PCB GoGo is one of the largest PCB manufacturer in China and luckily I got a chance to visit their factory last year. It is really huge and they are processing around 3000 orders per day. And ordering PCBs online through PCB GoGo is really very simple. You just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project. Select the number of PCBs and color masking and later select the shipping option as per your location. Now here PCB GoGo offers 24 hours PCB manufacturing time without any extra cost if you allow to add the PCB GoGo logo on it which is really convenient for makers like us. And after that your design will be reviewed for any error and later after reviewing you can pay for your order and get it delivered at your doorsteps. Now the PCB comes safely in a vacuum packaging and the PCB quality feels really premium. Now currently they are having an amazing offer where you can get $25 worth PCB at just a dollar for all the new users and also they are providing free shipping in North America and Europe. So just click the link mentioned in the description and get your PCBs from PCB Go Go. So here after receiving the PCBs, we started shouldering all the components one by one and later the final PCB project looks like this. Neat and compact. So with this we are done with the hardware part of the project and now let me show you what are the voice commands required to control all the appliances. So here is the voice.aithinger.com website where I did all the configuration for this project. Now here I won't be covering all the configuration step by step as I did this in detail in my previous video. So if you want to understand all the steps you can better watch out that previous video. While in this video I only cover the necessary configurations for this project. Okay so here the product category is the ceiling lamp same as before. Scene is offline again product name and language is selected. Then in the voice.sdk what we did here is we have put the configuration as single mic. The distance is far field. The AC echo cancellation is closed while the steady state noise reduction is open this time. So in previous uh, video we have did uh, close for both the echo and the steady noise but when I keep it open it is better responding in the noisy environments as well. I did the test in the noisy environment which I'll let you know at the end of the video but here uh, make sure you put it open so that it works good in noisy environment. Then here we have all the GPIO pins selected then here we have the wake up command so I provided three wake up commands hello pudding hey pudding and ni hao. Later these are the responses for wake up pretty common then the basic information regarding what kind of functionalities we're gonna add so here i added uh, like turning on and off all the four lights and for that i put four different commands for one single action for example for the first light the command is turn on first light then first light on letter we have light one on and last one is one light on these are the four commands for one single task turning on the light one similarly i did this for all the four lights and for the fan we have turn on fan turn on the fan and fan on then later we have the 4 speed fan control option so here I provided the fan speed 1 and it's also a fan speed minimum so I provided this command as well. Later fan speed 2, 3, 4 and fan speed maximum because 4 speed is the maximum speed of the fan. So these are the voice commands for the fan speed control and for turning off the fan these are the voice commands and later I have added one more option which is to turn all lights on and all lights off at the same time and here are the commands for turning on all the lights and here are the commands for turning off all the lights. So those were the basic commands which I provided for our project and here in the control detail option I have provided the particular GPIO fin for a particular voice command. 
demand for example for the first light I, we are turning on the gpr b0 high if we want to turn it on and we are turning on the gpr b0 low if we want to turn it off similarly we did this for second light third light and fourth light so yeah controlling the lights is pretty common that is already covered in the last video but uh, for the fan it is little different because in the fan speed control like for a four speed fan controller we need to configure three relays at a time so how we can control multiple relays with one single quiz command well that feature is also provided in this uh, voice.ai thinker platform which is here you can click on add control and you can select any gpio pin you want and as you can see that gpio pin is attached here that means that with this one single voice command i can control all these four relays the last one is for the demo i'll delete it so for the fan speed control i can control all these three gpio pins with this one single command so that's how i can do a four speed fan control project quite easily and similarly this for fan speed one fan speed two fan speed three and fan speed four later for turning off the fan we are just putting all the three relays low and lastly for turning on all the lights we are you now triggering all the four gpio pins with the high level and for turning off all the pins, we are triggering all the GPIO pins with the low level. So that was all about the control details in which you can assign the GPIO pin based upon the particular voice command. And luckily, like this project requires seven GPIO pins, four for controlling the four lights and three for controlling the speed of the fan. And this VC0 kit has maximum seven GPIO pins provided in the output. And on the screen, you can see all those seven GPIO pins. So because of that, we were able to do this four plus one project. So if you're making any project, Project with this VC02 kit, make sure you plan for seven GPIO pins only. If you want to have more GPIO pins, well, you can attach the external microcontroller via UART communication. And hey, do you want me to make a video about the uh, communication between external microcontroller and VC02 board? Well, if yes, do let me know in the comment section and I'll if I get maximum requests, I'll try to make that video as well. But yeah, anyways, that was all about the control details. Later, we have chosen the 10 voice commands, which will work without wake up command as well. Later, we have the speaker configuration in which I've selected this, the first option with maximum volume, speed of speech is 58 and the brightness is 50. Then here I have provided the boot broadcast as welcome to Techie SMS Studio. So this will be spoken by our device every time we power it up. Then this is the reply for the quit. And these three are the quit commands. And these uh, four are the replies for the quit command. So that was the complete firmware. And here I'll click on make a new version and let's just leave the description as it is. And now I'll click on build SDK and it will start building the SDK and it will take around 10 to 30 minutes for building this firmware. So in the meantime, uh, let me tell you that we are providing this complete assembled project through our website. So you can buy it from our website and get it delivered at your doorstep. And then you can also make your own offline voice recognition based home automation for your workspace, office or even your home. So click the link mentioned in the description right now and get one for yourself quickly because VC02 is a fast selling product and its stocks gets sold out very quickly. So click it and buy it right now. Okay, so the firmware is successfully built. I'll click on the download firmware option. It will send the request for the firmware. Okay, so the firmware file is successfully downloaded. I'll open the downloads folder and here I'll extract it uh, in the same folder. Now, uh, as I said in the previous video, to flash the firmware into the VC02 model, you need a Windows system because the flasher tool is only available for Windows. So here in my case, I already downloaded, so I'll quickly open this up. And here I'll click here and select the firmware file, which I have just downloaded. Click on this button and here you need to press the reset button once to start flashing the firmware. And the firmware is successfully flashed. So now I'll insert this VC02 module into our PCB project. And now let's install it in our switchboard. So here we made the connection of our project with the four lights and one fan according to this connection diagram. So currently the decibel levels are around 50, 52 decibels in this silent room and currently I'm standing at 22 feet away from the microphone and let's test out the demo in this situation. Ni hao. What can I do for you? Turn on all the lights. Turn on all the lights. Fan speed 1. Fan speed 1. Fan speed 4. Fan speed 1 to 4. Turn off third light. Third light turn off. Turn off all the lights. Turn off all the lights. Turn off all the lights. Fan off. Turn off the 
Good bye. So now I opened up the door and windows in my studio to let the traffic noise comes in and currently the decibel level is around 65 to 70 decibels and it's fluctuating and right now I'm standing at 22 feet distance from the microphone and let's just test out our project in this scenario. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Turn on all the lights. All lights on. Turn on fan. Fan speed 4 Turn off second light So currently I just shut down all the doors and windows and turn on the music and the decibel level is really loud here around 75 decibels and let's just try to test our project in this scenario Ni hao Ni hao Hello pudding Hello pudding Hello Pudding Ni hao So this definitely proves that it is not made for super loud environment It will not work as Alexa and Google Assistant in the loud environment But yes, it will work around 65 up to 70 de decibels a noise level maximum but it won't work about that. So that was the result which I got with my own testing. But still anyways, this is a super cool, super interesting, super fun project to try out and also to experience it in your work area or at your home as well because this doesn't require anything at all. And this offline voice recognition becoming a trend slowly because recently I saw two advertisements on national TV one from Lloyd and second from Havels that showcase the offline voice recognition capabilities in it. So this is kind of becoming a new trend in the consumer electronics market and we already started working with the new trend. Also you can start working on it by like purchasing this project on our website and installing it in your home or workspace. So yeah that was all about my project and this video and if you really like this project well do hit the like button right now and just tell YouTube algorithm that this guy makes some really useful and informative videos for us. Also share your thoughts about this project in the comments of the video and hey many of you already purchased VC02 kits. So tell me, what are you working on? Share your creation down in the comments of the video. Let's see what interesting things you are doing with this offline voice recognition. And yeah, that being said, now I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.